wishes in Justice League Dark number six. And by number six, I mean number 22. Yes, Justice League Dark number 22. Um, this issue bounces back and forth between Argus headquarters and where Justice League Dark and Wonder Woman are. There are a couple of reveals in this installment of the Trinity War. The first being that Madame Xanadu, who everyone assumes, or at least I did after reading Justice League number 22, that she dies in the explosion at her shop is really alive and being held captive by the man orchestrating all these events. And the second reveal is the name of the man who is behind all these events. And that is Dr. Psycho. Superman is set free over at Argus headquarters by the question who is the guy masquerading as Steve Trevor and uh, they get out of for lack of a better term Superman's cell and Cyborg's there because he has gone down to check on Superman after Batman and uh, Steve Trevor and some of the others left to stop Wonder Woman. Superman shows Cyborg a piece of newspaper that the question found showing that Dr. Psycho was at Kandak uh, the day before the stuff happened with JLA and Justice League. So Cyborg because Superman looks sickly, Cyborg agrees to like help him. By that time, Amanda Waller, who is like the head of Argus, and the rest of the superheroes that didn't leave with Batman come down. And she's like, Stop him, stop Superman. And while reluctant, they try. One of the troopers who's there, one of the Argus soldiers, shoots Batman. He kind of says, oops, so you don't know if it's accidentally or what. But, anyway, they all end up taking off. Superman, um, Cyborg. Martian Band Hunter, Green Arrow, Adam, Firestorm, they all take off. They're like, screw you, Amanda. We're helping Supes. Or man, Superman. I don't know why I keep calling them Supes, but you know who I'm talking about, hopefully. Um, they all take off to help Superman go find, presumably, to go find Dr. Psycho. Meanwhile, back in New York, where Wonder Woman is, talking to the Justice League Dark, uh, they head to the House of Mystery after Justice League Dark tells John Constantine to fuck off that they're gonna listen to what Wonder Woman has to say whether he likes it or not because they want to help Superman so they head back to the House of Mystery but the JLA and just League members that left Argus are there waiting for him and 
you got so it's uh Batman um Steve Trevor Hawkman Stargirl Shazam Catwoman Green Lantern Aquaman Flash Zatanna Phantom Stranger and a couple others who uh are there and they're all there trying to stop Wonder Woman because Phantom Stranger strolls up at Argus and is like Wonder Woman's gonna screw up everything if she finds Pandora there is going to be hell to pay she will destroy the earth okay that's not the that's more of a paraphrasal but um that's pretty much the direction they're going you know while facing Batman Wonder Woman's like you know what Pandora is the one that did something to Superman and I'm gonna find out what it was and try to help him and And Justice League Dark tells them that uh, they're going to support Wonder Woman in her quest. And Batman's like, no, we're going to stop you. And he tells the antenna to steal the building to stop them. And Zantana's like, no. Because we know for a fact John Constantine does not want Wonder Woman to find Pandora and I have found that anything John Constantine wants the opposite is what everybody else needs or, or wants so Zatanna sides with Wonder Woman as does Stargirl and Batman's like, stop him! And Green Lantern does his ring thing and tries to seal him in a green bubble, but they vanish. And Batman's like, no! What's going on? But while all this is happening, the group. Batman's in is confronting Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark. John Constantine takes Shazam and they leave. They just go, they boogie on out. Don't know where they're going. Don't know what Constantine has planned. But they're gone. Last page of the issue has. Dr. Psycho telling Madame Xanadu that uh, he has a mole in the Justice League so he knows what's going on and stuff. Now I'm not a huge fan of DC but I'm kind of digging this Trinity one. Um, seems to be a fairly okay storyline so far and introduced me to the Justice League Dark. Uh, before that, I, I don't think I knew anybody from Justice League Dark, except for Constantine. And to be honest, that's only because of the movie with Keanu Reeves. But, these two issues together, Justice League of America 6 and Justice League Dark 22 are a fine continuation of the Trinity War story. And I recommend to most anyone that they should at least give the storyline a chance. Go check it out. Go down to your local comic book store, perhaps hit up Comixology and you get an issue.
check it out. This storyline has actually made me want to check out some of the other DC books. For example, I might check out Constantine, which, starting at number five, follows him and Shazam doing whatever it is they're going to do. And the Phantom Stranger, which branches up branches off from this story because they're going to like hold a seance or something to talk to the soul of Dr. Light to find out what happened so I might check out some of those books but yeah I, I recommend this story and like I have been repeatedly saying I'm not a huge fan of DC I like their cartoons but not a huge fan of the comics themselves for the most part I do love me some Batwoman a lesbian superhero that's not the only reason but you know it's the main one no it's not am I that shallow? I think so so I guess all I have to say is please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We will love you forever. Or at least like you a lot. Uh, like the video on YouTube or dislike it. Hmm, what else? Leave a comment. Either on Facebook, YouTube, or the website wherever you are currently watching this and I can't remember if I said it already but subscribe to the channel like our page and all the needless shilling that everybody usually puts here you know like us subscribe to us um, well that's the only things I can think of but please do it please please do it <laughs> if you know what we, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so with that, I bid thee a fond, fond farewell. Adieu.